everybody, welcome to my channel. This is a really cool video because this is me learning how to fly a helicopter. Now, I, I, I know nothing about helicopters, and I'm hoping a lot of you viewers out there who have helicopters, who have flown helicopters, who are pros at helicopters, will chime in and help me out and the other viewers. The reason I am flying helicopters as of today is because a lot of you viewers have asked me since Christmas time, I don't know what's going on, since Christmas I keep getting asked this question. Hey Steve, can you recommend a really good helicopter for beginners? And I'm like, I don't know, I don't, I've never flown a helicopter. I don't even, know, I don't know the first thing about them. So what I did is I went out and I purchased three helicopters, all from Horizon Hobby. So I purchased uh, a little one, much a little bit bigger one and an even larger one and the, my goal was basically learn how to fly helicopters and then i can pass on my knowledge to you just like i do with drones and i realized really quick that it's going to take a while before i really learn how to fly these well but let me tell you the following i'm just going to sum it up what i've learned you know flying a helicopter and that is that if you can fly a drone that like say a $50 drone because a $50 drone has no GPS in it you know the kind you fly in your house they move all over the place there's no GPS if you can fly that you can fly a helicopter if you can fly an FPV drone without the goggles take the goggles off and just fly it line of sight you can fly a helicopter. How do I know that? Because that's what I did. This here helicopter and two additional helicopters, I flew all of them in one day. Yes, a lot of people might fly those three helicopters over the course of, oh, I don't know, maybe a year, but I did it all in one day. And uh, I didn't really crash that much, you know, not that much. This guy I crashed, but the bigger ones, no. So let me tell you a little bit about the helicopters I flew. And then I'll show you the video. So the first one is the Blade Nano S3. It's by Horizon Hobby. This little guy takes a 1S battery and I bought five of those 1S batteries on Amazon for like 20 bucks. So steal of a deal and you get four minutes flight time on each battery. Actually you get five minutes, but I set my timer at four minutes. It's really simple to fly. Now, if you don't have a radio, like this is a radio here, uh, if you don't have one of these in the RC hobby, you can buy one. I've reviewed many of them. This one's a Spectrum radio because this here is a Blade Nano and Spectrum and Horizon Hobby are all owned together and Blade and it's all there. So everything works together. This model comes with its own controller. If you don't have one, they'll sell you one with it and it's already configured, ready to fly and it's not super expensive. Trust me, compared to drones, it's not expensive. Pay attention to be really careful because I'm going to use the term in this video collective pitch because I learned it on uh, the left here is it the left okay so this is the left to me this is your collective pitch I'll explain that and this correct me if I'm wrong this is your cyclic here uh, which is going to move your helicopter forward and backwards and side side all right ladies and gentlemen this is Captain Drone's super fast explanation of collective pitch so you can see behind the helicopter let me focus on it I'm holding what would appear to be a drone. Yes, it's got four motors. And we all know that on a drone, if you want to fly higher or faster, you just increase the speed of the props. And you do that, let me see if I can grab my radio, if that will come in focus, right here. So you have this left joystick that you could move up and down, and that makes the motors on your drone go much faster as you're flying through the air. But guess what? On a helicopter over here, that's not the case. The motors on a helicopter basically spin at one speed. So only one speed. So in order for the helicopter to go up or down, the pitch of the blade here must change. So we have a collective over here, and I'm just gonna focus on my remote. So here's my remote control. So on the left, that's your collective pitch. And when you move this all the way to the top, your rotors, will change the pitch. So I'm gonna show you that right here. So here I've placed my left joystick right in the center. So that means the rotors on the helicopter should be flat. That means no up or down. Now watch this. If I want to make the helicopter go up, I move this and the blade. The pitch will change so that it pushes the air downwards. If I want the helicopter to go down, I change the pitch. There we go. Now it's going to blow the air upwards and drive my drone into the ground. So a collective pitch helicopter 
is extremely difficult to fly and that's why a lot of newbies like myself will crash them. Now as a newbie using collective pitch, positive thrust, negative thrust, it's a little bit daunting, especially if you have no experience. That freaked me out big time, especially as I got bigger helicopters. Yeah, it's pretty scary because you could be just flying and you move it, your joystick a little bit too much and next thing you know you're you're thundering into the ground and you didn't mean to do that. So the great thing is, is this tiny little Nano S3 has a mode on it for beginners and it only has positive collective pitch. So it will never drill your helicopter into the ground and it will also not allow you to roll it, flip it, everything else. I practiced on that and I flew it around my house and um, it was so simple that you know, it gave me the courage to try something larger. So hopefully all of that made sense. And well, here, let me show you the video. Check this out. Here we go. First try with a Nano S3. I'll either make it or break it. I just noticed on the box, it says skill level two required. What exactly does that mean? I have to be a two-year-old or I'm going to fly it like a two-year-old. Probably fly it like a two-year-old. All right, let's try this. All right, I've got the Spectrum iX12 all configured. You can see I have the right helicopter on the screen. Ah, it probably doesn't show up in there and I've got it set to four minutes. So that's four minutes of flight time on this tiny little battery. I'm using a 220 milliamp one cell battery. It's very small. This little thing here, very tiny. So let's try this out. The battery slides in a little slot at the bottom and you just attach the cable from the helicopter. So this little blade nano. Oh, look at that, it lights up. So there we go, check it out. I probably should have it on the ground so it configures itself, orientates itself, adjusts itself. Ah, I probably messed it up. I've probably messed everything up. All right, <laughs> we're gonna fly it anyways, here we go. So there's a little switch on here that I configured called throttle hold. It's basically is like an arm switch on a quad so I can move up, move this left uh, throttle stick up and down. I get nothing, but if I take that arm switch off and do it, she wants to go. So uh, let me stand up and let's fly this. All right, so here we go. First flight, let's see if I don't smash it into the ceiling. Up. I'm gonna fly it like a quad. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. This flies just like a quad right now. Okay, so throttle down, throttle up. That's good. And let's see, I can move it to the left, move it to the right. All right, let's see if I can fly it around my house. So let's turn it this way and uh, let's boogie. It flies just like a quad in this mode, so I'm not having any issues flying it here. Let me just bring it up so it's at height up here. And uh, yeah, so I can fly it. It flies. If, you're, if you know how to fly a, a drone, like a FPV drone, then it flies exactly the same way uh, in this mode. So this is pretty simple. And uh, I'm sure everybody who's a pro flying these helicopters is just killing themselves laughing watching me fly this right now. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is uh, try to land it here. So I'm just gonna hit the uh, throttle hold when I come down. Time to stop. There we go. And she should stop. And it does. All right, there's another mode on here called Stunt One. Stunt One. Stunt One. And that is gonna give me collective pitch. So I think that's what you call it. And that basically means if I move this joystick downwards, then I'm gonna slam it into the ground because it's actually gonna shoot thrust upwards. And the opposite is true if I move the joystick past halfway mode. So let's try that. Let's see. Oh, gotta take the hold off. And this one's a little harder. Stunt one, here we go. So in this one, a lot more power. If I move that joystick down, see it, it wants to thunder into the ground here. So uh, that is, that's the way a helicopter is supposed to fly. This is utterly not like a uh, drone. So, oh my God, that is, that is gonna take a lot of practice. You gotta keep the throttle control right in the center. So let me see if I can fly around the house without crashing into things. I guess the best way to do it is don't play with the throttle control too much. Man, that is tricky. That is tricky. You really have to get used to that. Got to be very slow on the down throttle in this mode or else uh, as soon as it passes halfway, you're thundering down. So, so far so good, I got it going around. This is how you truly have to fly it outside, I guess, uh, for the benefits of doing any 3D tricks or anything, which I have no idea what to do. I do know, I do know how to uh, crash it into the ground. I'm pretty sure I can do that. Is that considered a trick? I don't know. So, uh, yeah, let's bring it back to me. There we go. And let's thunder it down, bring it down for a landing and kill the hold switch. All right, so far so good. So there you go. You saw me flying this baby around the house. It was really easy and I flew it in normal mode. Normal. And I also flew it in stunt one. Stunt 
Stunt one. So later I took this out to a larger field and flew to normal. Stunt one. Here, check this out. Turn on the IX-12. It's got to boot up. All right, we're all set to go. All right, so I flew this to house. I should be able to fly it outdoors here. It's not too windy right now. Let's see, I'm gonna leave it in like the safe mode, which will make it fly like pretty much like a quad. Yep, and there we go. So let's take it up. Well, it's going with the wind. I gotta bring it back. There we are. All right, I gotta, gotta get used to these joysticks before I hit myself in the face. All right, let's bring it over to the uh, little camera right there. So it's not as uh, nimble as a drone when you move the joysticks uh there's a little bit of a delay before things start to happen so uh yeah i'm getting used to that all right let's see how i can fly it here getting orientation is um a little bit difficult for me it's just because it's so small but i got it the wind is affecting it uh there's no stabilization to just stay in one spot i've got to keep my fingers on the joysticks I'm sure the pros can do it much better than me. And I'm in the beginner mode, the safe mode. Yeah. Now let me land that and change modes here. Put you down. I hit, I hit the kill switch. This is the most important switch. This is my kill switch or hold switch. Sort of like on a uh, FPV drone. Arm the motors, disarm the motors. Okay, I'm just switching batteries because I want to try a different mode. So I was flying in something called safe mode, which is sort of for beginners. There's good stability, everything. You can't flip it, you can't roll it. All I have to do is make sure I don't crash it into the ground. So now I'm going to put it out of safe mode. Stunt one. And now it's going to be kind of scary. So uh, <laughs> here we go. And the wind's blowing now too. Okay, this should be funny. I'll probably crash it here. Let's take that arm switch off. Here we go. Now, all right, I'm getting the hang of it. There we go. It's just a little scarier because now, if I move the joystick uh, below center, uh, I drop it into the ground. Getting the brain just used to it. It's not bad. Let's see if I can do some qu quick yaws. Let's try this. Oh yeah. I seem to be able to fly it better in uh, stunt mode one than I can in safe because it's more responsive. It's not a, a delayed response because the, the helicopter is not doing all the work for me. I'm actually doing more of the work controlling it. So yeah, I think stunt one is the way to go for learning how to fly a helicopter. This one here flies super, super nice. I like that. So all I can say is if you're thinking of getting yourself a helicopter or buying one, uh, this one's not too bad or any little one like this. All right, let's put this one down and uh, try another one. Kill switch, there we go. Nice landing. All right, let me show you the next helicopter I flew, which would be this one. This is the Blade 150S, and this is the box it comes in. You can see it's much larger than the Nano. Let me hold them here. So there's my little Nano, and there's my Blade 150. The blades on this one are plastic. I'm told in the helicopter world, people like carbon fiber blades. You can replace them, the carbon fiber, if you want. But uh, yeah, they're plastic, so I guess they, they will just shatter if they hit something, vice uh, chop it to pieces which is okay by me because that this one here was coming close to my face a few times as I'm learning to fly. What I really like about this one is on the back, there is a brushless motor back here on the tail, which is very responsive. I also found this one flies really well in the wind. I was flying it with some wind and it seems to fly really, really well. So the Blade 150S is for people who know how to fly helicopters because it has a 3D mode in it. Just like this one's got the Stunt 2 3D mode, you can do flips, but you can do the real quality stuff with this one. I'm not there yet. I could only fly it in normal mode. I could not switch the modes to anything higher because if this one crashes, it's probably going to break a lot more than this one. But uh, yeah, I got out flying this one and uh, here's the video. Check it out. So this little drone I was flying is the Blade Nano S3. And I told myself if I could fly this in stunt one, then I should be able to fly this in safe mode. <laughs> I don't know if I could fly this in stunt one. This one's heavier. And I will say the following. I have uh, read that if you crash the little ones, um, it's pretty hard to break them. But the bigger you get, the easier it is to break them. So, yeah. So you can probably see this in the GoPro. This is the Blade 150S, and here's the Nano S3 that I was flying. Much smaller than this one. And this one here itself has a bigger battery as well. Put all my switches so they're all set back to normal. Everything's good. Let's power this on. So far it's are good. It hasn't started up. It hasn't started to fly away. So let's put the nose cover on. So I gotta take off the arm switch, or I should say, yeah, I've got it on hold. Normal. 
know. All right. Oh, oh, oh she wants to go. <laughs> it's in normal mode, so it should fly just like the little guy, but uh, bigger. Oh, there we go. There we go. Being a first time uh, pilot of a helicopter this size with those blades spinning near my head, it's a little daunting. Look at that. This thing is an awesome drone. <laughs> Trying not to chop up my camera, but look at that. Way over there you can see there's a plane taking off and there she goes, up in the air. That's the thing with helicopters, they are susceptible to it. Oh, there's a plane up there too. Let me try it forward here. Try to turn this way and come back this way. Oh, that's good. Okay, that's good. And then turn again. Okay, that's good. And then up. Okay, that's good. I got a nice little rotation going around me. Yeah, I got it. My brain's got to learn the controls. Very much like a quad. All right, can I take it under and through this goal post? Of course I can. The trick is, can I bring it back to me? There we go. Try some back and forth. expired all right time to bring her back so you can see flying the larger drone is a lot cooler i really like this one a lot this one's really good to learn on indoors i'd never fly this one indoors but it's pretty decent i also have this one here which is massive in size yep you get dwarfs everything else this is the blade 330s now, a lot of you watching who fly helicopters are going, oh my God, are you kidding me? A beginner should not fly this thing. So let me tell you the story. So I bought this to learn how to fly helicopters so I could get good at it. And then as I got better, I was gonna fly this one. But you know, in the same day, I just thought, hey, this one was so easy to fly. Let me try flying this one. And it wasn't too bad. So I can fly this one, I haven't crashed it. And then I thought, you know what? I should fly this one, but uh, yeah, it didn't go so well. I didn't crash it, but um, I think it's a way out of my league. I don't have I don't have the skills. So watch this and tell me what you think. Tell me what you think went wrong. Watch this. Okay, I flew this one here, the little Blade Nano. Then I did the 150. I also have a huge 330. This was a treat for myself in case I learned how to fly a helicopter. Then I would have this one to fly. Now. Obviously, this is massive and big and probably something that you don't want to crash because look at all the parts, moving parts on it. Yeah, it's going to get banged up. However, it's got a safe mode, so I should be able to fly it here safely. <laughs> fingers crossed, fingers crossed. I'm going to give it a shot. Got to try it sometime. All right, much bigger. Let's see, that going to whack me? Much bigger battery on this one. Yeah. Oh, it's doing some funky stuff there. I don't know if the GoPro could see this, but look at this. This is, this is my little Nano, and this is what we're currently gonna fly. Huge difference here. Everything works. Take off the hold button. Let's start up the motors. Timer start. And take her on up. Whoa! This thing's a little crazier to handle. It's like I don't think that's a, <laughs> I don't think that's a safe mode. All right, so it just goes to show that uh, I probably set this up wrong. I don't think there was any safe mode going on there, because this thing I was tilting it forward and backwards all over the place, or maybe it wasn't safe mode. But I just can't fly this thing. So. I'm gonna have to check it out and then try it again another day, but I'm gonna have to practice a lot on helicopters before I do that. All right, we have the 330S down here and I had some difficulty flying it because I'm very inexperienced. So I have Jack over here who knows how to fly helicopters and he's gonna take it for a spin. Okay, Jack, let's hope it flies. Oh, you got it in stun one already? Yeah, right on the ground. All right.
Well, I guess, I guess I guess I don't have a clue what I'm doing if that's working. And what if you put it in uh, the normal as I was flying it? Well, it looks like you, you angled it pretty good there. Yeah, I, I would say you're, there is, it's not in the stability mode because I can do all that. Yeah, so I've got something goofy then going on. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. All right, so what we discovered is uh, Jack is telling me that what I thought was stability, there is no stability. <laughs> Unless the programming was, there's something in the programming you're missing, and that I don't know. Yeah, I've, I've gone over it twice, I've set it up the same way, I don't know, maybe I goofed up something. Time to start. Alright, little baby's up. Definitely not a helicopter for beginners. Let's take it around here. See if I can get my orientation. Ooh, she wants to go. Yeah, this helicopter is going to require lots of skill that I currently don't have. I did finally get it in stability mode, as you can see, but it's a little uh, wonky. Got a <laughs> it's like, I gotta get used to the joysticks. Got a lot of power to go up, a lot of power to come down, and uh, not much in the middle. So if anybody's wondering what I did to fix it, I basically just uh, took stunt uh, two and turned it into normal because in stunt two, for some reason, I could put on stability, but in normal, I couldn't. So I just reverse them that's all so basically my stunt two is like a normal that's all it is and those beeps you hear are me running out of battery power which says time to land it so i'll just bring it over here and put it down <laughs> there we go slam it in if you don't know how to get it down it's a high quality helicopter, a lot of metal parts on it. It does not have a brushless uh, tail rotor at the back. It's actually got a, a belt that runs through here, I believe. It's got a lot, a lot of servos. This one looks like I can really do a number on it if I damage it, like not to get it ever working again. All right, so let me move these all out of the way. Oh, and just in case I didn't show you, here's the box. Where is it? Do I have it right side? Here's the box for the 330S. The reason I got all three of them, they were on sale. I got a deal if I bought three, I got a deal through my hobby shop in my area um, yeah for these so by buying three I saved uh, quite a lot of shekels that was the whole reason I got the three all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put links below to all of these uh, helicopters here and uh, you can check them out I've tried them all you saw in the video uh, and you can see if there's a helicopter for you in future videos, I will get some of the companies that make helicopters to send me helicopters so that I can review them, but I'm only going to get the entry-level helicopters. You know, the ones that come a helicopter and you get a remote with it in a package that's like 100 bucks or under 200 bucks. Those are the ones I'll review on this channel, maybe some more expensive ones. So when you have that question, hey, I want a beginner helicopter, then I actually have ones to show you. Just show you how easy it is to fly indoors. Watch me whack myself in the head as it's coming towards me. All right, let's bring it up nice. Get that ground effect happening. There we go. Very close to me. I just keep it in here so I keep it in the frame. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I don't want to take my eyes off this baby. And uh, I'll catch you in future videos with many more reviews of helicopters. All right, guys, take care. There we go. Ooh, saved it. See you in the next video.